And welcome back to the final quarter. Our San Diego Soccers entered the Arena Soccer League postseason as the number five seed after compiling a losing record during the regular season. A lot of teams just simply wrote the Soccers off, but suddenly they caught fire at the perfect time. Jake Garrieni has their story. Sarah, shoot, score! Christian Gutierrez! You have just sent the Sockers to Kansas City Bowl! You know, the team is coming together at the right time and we feel confident and we feel good about each other and uh, and it's been it's been a fun ride and, and we're not ready for it to end right now. The San Diego Sockers are riding roughshod through the MASL playoffs. We're we're fully focused and we're prepared to to give it hell in this national championship, that's for sure. After four straight one-goal victories, including three overtime wins, the Sockers are headed to the Ron Newman Cup Finals to face the Ontario Fury. And when we went into overtime, I think we all looked at each other like, listen, we just did this yesterday, and we just did this last week, let's just do it again. The league recently announced it would push back the championship one week to allow fans to be in the stands. I think that is the best decision for the league. Um, to put our game on a little bit of a platform with, with some fans in that building. We deserve to have fans. This season's been so crazy without fans. Um, you can hear each other, you know, talk to each other in the arena. It just echoes when it's empty and it's not fun. And so I'm excited to let the fans come into the arena. Challenging has certainly been an adjective used over and over during this past year. But once again, it finds itself applicable for the soccer season. Talent this year was dispersed amongst the seven or eight teams, and so every team was absolutely stacked because of the X amount of franchises that, that opted out because of COVID. And so it was like the, every team was a complete all-star team. But challenging doesn't even begin to describe the season for Brian Farber. For me, on a personal level, I got uh, COVID in Dallas on the first road trip um, on the return leg. When I got back, um, I was struggling with elevated heart rate, um, fatigue, afternoons, I'd like just need to go take a nap. And I was getting, um, I was getting winded, like brushing my teeth or like carrying something in from the car. It, it was crazy. So people have, have said, and I've heard people say, oh, you know, COVID's not real. Um, I definitely let them know otherwise. Personally battling through COVID and stacked rosters, the Sockers are in search of their first championship since 2013. You know, when I first got here, we won four straight championships and it felt like, oh, well, that's what the Sockers do. Um, we got brought back down to earth uh, to win a championship for the Sockers fans is the ultimate goal. I'm Jake Gariani. Where does this season and this postseason run rank among the runs that you've been on throughout your career? You know what, this one, uh, this one may be all time. News 8. All right, Jake, thanks a lot. Again, the series has been pushed back. It'll start a week from tomorrow, a best of three. Game two would be on Sunday, and if it's tied after two, they would play a mini game three for the championship. Go soccer.